Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and this is Matt and Sarah. And today, you probably clicked on this video because you're looking for a way to eat maybe a runny egg or use a raw egg in a recipe. And I know how you can do that. So we're going to be using a method called low temperature pasteurization or pasteurization and we're going to be pasteurizing our eggs today. Now the reason you would want to do this is to feel safe about cooking an egg and not having any bacteria in it. So eggs can carry a bacteria called salmonella and although it's very rare, about 1 in 20,000 eggs can carry salmonella. It's one of those lotteries I just don't want to win. So pasteurizing is just basically a low um, heat way to warm up the middle, the yolk of the egg and the egg whites and make sure that they get to a safe temperature where any of that bacteria is killed. And then if we have a runny yolk or if we're using a raw egg in a recipe, we don't need to stress about that. In the United States, the USDA requires that all egg products be pasteurized. So you don't need to worry if you're buying eggs in a carton or anything like that. All those egg products are pasteurized. Unfortunately, that doesn't include eggs in the shell. So you can buy pasteurized eggs in the shell. Just look over by your egg section and make sure the container says pasteurized. So you don't need anything special to do this. Just a pot, some eggs, and some water. So what I do, ideally I would like my eggs off the bottom of my pot and one of those stainless strainers would work really great. That's what we used to use and put them right off the bottom. You measure your water so that it's an inch above the eggs and then take the eggs out and heat up your water. So if you've been watching for a while, you know last year I got a sous vide for Christmas and I am loving it for things like this. So I use this whenever I am trying to heat something to a specified temperature for a specified amount of time. Sure, I can do this on my stovetop. All I'd need was that pot of water and I can use a candy thermometer or even a meat thermometer, whatever I've got to keep my temperature solid. I like the sous vide because it does it for me and it's something that I don't need to stress or worry about. So the ideal temperature that we want these eggs at is between 138 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Even if you use Celsius, I would say you probably want to consider using Fahrenheit when you're doing this because you get one more degree to play with. A large egg is going to need to stay at this temperature for three minutes to fully cook the inside of the yolk. A jumbo egg is going to need to stay at this temperature for five minutes. Now the reason I don't love my eggs being right on the bottom of my pot is that there is a chance I will cook the egg a little bit and that's what I am trying to avoid. Another reason I like using my sous vide because I'm not going to accidentally get above that 140 range. So I'm going to add my water an inch above my eggs, but remember I'm going to be taking my eggs out of the water as well. All right, now I have my water more than an inch above because when I'm using my sous vide, it requires there to be a certain amount of water. I needed to make sure it was more than enough above the eggs, enough to keep the sous vide running, and when I take these eggs out, still enough to keep it running. So in my case, I don't need to put my eggs in first, um, but if you're doing it on the stovetop, that is what you would be doing. I'm gonna place my eggs in a bowl for now, and then I have a slotted spoon ready to put them in later because this water will still be hot enough that I don't wanna touch it. So I'm gonna get my sous vide plugged in. Now that I've got my water in there, and I really like this one in particular because I can manually turn it on. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of an odd angle. So I can manually turn it on and do everything right here to set it, but I also can use the app on my phone and set this up so that anytime I wanna pasteurize eggs, I literally just click the button on my phone, it starts it up. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory how to use the buttons here to add the temperature and the time. On the app, it might be a little bit more difficult, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. All right, so then when I log into the app, I go into my profile, and if I wanna add a new recipe, I just create recipe here. If I do it the first time, then it's already here for next time. So you can see I have a couple recipes in here, pasteurizing eggs, and then the low temp pasteurization pickles we made a while back, um, which are so simple. So when I go into pasteurizing eggs, 
I have it set for 140 degrees like we talked about and mine is for four minutes. Now the reason I do this is because yes I am using mainly large eggs. I just don't use my jumbo eggs for this. Then I don't need to worry about that five minute mark. But because I am adding my eggs after it hits the temperature I figure it'll probably take me a good 20-30 seconds to add them. So I'm heating them at least the three minutes that's required. So 140 degrees and four minutes and all I do is click this button, cook this recipe. And then start. <laughs> I was like, why didn't it start? All right, and you heard it start up. It's already heating up my water. You can see that it's got my four minutes on the timer, and then it switches between that and the current temperature of the water, 66 degrees right now. My pot is going to get hot. I did put a hot pad under it to keep it um, from getting the counter too hot. And then I just try to do this when the kids are outside of the kitchen or at least remind them of that. So I'm gonna let this heat up and I will let you know when it is ready. All right, so my sous vide just beeped, it heated up. The one thing I don't love about my sous vide is that it's just a quiet little beep when it's ready. So that is probably like my one complaint. But otherwise all good. So I'm gonna put these eggs in. I'll try to be gentle not to crack them because I do want to use these eggs. Now, my favorite ways to use an egg like this is either making mayonnaise, which if you didn't see last week's video, um, I was making a mayonnaise recipe at the end of our vlog. I can link that up above. Or uh, Matt loves to make like a runny dip egg for toast in the morning for breakfast. So we'll use these for that. And I won't eat a dip egg unless it's been pasteurized. And then I'm going to be making a recipe coming up and I'll share a video with you. So I'm reserving a lot of these eggs for that recipe as well. So I got all my eggs in and just after I did, I hit the one minute mark on my timer. So we did that perfectly. <laughs> did you hear it? I was hoping I could catch it on camera. So that's it. That's the only noise that this makes. So that means they are done. Super simple. I'm gonna take them out, put them in my bowl, and this is the universal um, meaning in our house that that means that the eggs in the bowl are either pasteurized or hard boiled. So the hope is that you can tell the difference. <laughs> Thanks for watching and glad you got to see me again. Bye.